Democratic presidential hopefuls sparring on the national stage. Now we're just hours away from the second round of debates in Detroit. So how are people in mid-Michigan feeling about the war of words so far? I definitely agree a lot with um, Senator Warren's take about if you're running for president, you can't be talking about what you can't do. You need to be talking about what you need to do to fix the issues we're having. Kevin Schuber works in Flint, a city that was a highlight for candidates across the board. I assure you, I lived in Gross Point. What happened in Flint would not have happened in Gross Point. Marianne Williamson spoke about the Flint water crisis. She said it was fueled by a larger problem in the country. The racism, the bigotry, and the entire conversation that we're having here tonight, if you think any of this wonkiness is going to deal with this dark psychic force of the collective hatred that this president is bringing up in this country, then I'm afraid that the Democrats are going to see some very dark days. And many people here in Flint say they want certain things to be talked about even more at tonight's debate. For public school teacher Angela Benchley, that's education. We need to put more investment in the education at the college level, more incentives for kids, young high schoolers to want to go into education. Another highlight last night was health care, with some candidates supporting universal health care and others vouching to fix the current system. As more politicians face off tonight, Kevin Schuber says there's a way to win his support. Looking at our country as a whole and how we're going to address the needs of the many, not the needs of the few. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.